Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. It's our News Watch unit today,、yes. and we've got a couple of news stories that we're going to talk about. You may have heard of Chen Shuju,、uh, that lady who made all those donations to charity years ago, and she was recognized by Time Magazine as being an influential person and stuff like that. Well, she's actually retiring now. And then we also got some news about the world's best. Best airport? Do you think it's the one in Taoyuan here in Taiwan, or down in Gaoshung there? Nope. Maybe close. Those are nice airports, but the world's best airport still remains in Singapore. You know, my problem with Italian airport, Tom, is that they do not have enough stores. You know, once you get through security and stuff, they don't have enough stores that sell snack food for the plane. What are they、All、thinking?、Right. I mean, if you go to the airports in the states, they have those stores. They're bookstores usually where you can buy newspapers and a toothbrush if you need it. I need like M and M's and chips on the plane, especially when you're flying. You know, fourteen, fifteen hours. You want snack food with you, so that's my suggestion for anyone who's listening that can influence Italian airport people. Let's get some good food in there that's for sale, and more restaurants as well. Uh, yeah, it could be. I don't know. They've got lots of duty free stores there, but、uh, again, you can probably talk about the Taoyuan International Airport on your own time. But we will be talking about the airport in Singapore in、mm. today's program, also about Chen Shuju again. So let's get to it, everybody. It's our News Watch unit for today. Let's read the entire contents one time. Chen Shuju, a vegetable seller from Taichung who became famous for her humanitarian efforts, retired in May, aged 67. She is internationally known for making donations worth more than 10 million NT dollars to libraries, hospitals, and orphanages. Chen's mother died when she was just a child. A few years later, her younger brother got sick as well. Her brother's classmates collected money for his care, but he too died. At the age of 13, Chen left school and began working at a vegetable stall to support her family. She works there for over 50 years, living a simple life to save money. Inspired by her brother's classmates, she donated a large portion of her savings to charities. Her philanthropy did not go unrewarded. In 2010, Time named her one of the most influential people in the world. In 2012, she won the Ramon Magsaysay Award for helping the poor, and promptly gave the entire 50,000 U.S. dollar prize to the Mackay Memorial Hospital's Taichung branch. She truly believes that, in her words, money serves its purpose only when it can help people in need. Changi Airport voted world's best airport again. Changi Airport in Singapore was voted the world's best airport for the sixth year in a row in March 2018. It is the first airport to ever achieve this streak, and the ninth time in all that it's been number one. The reason for this might be its state-of-the-art leisure and dining facilities. For instance. It features two free cinemas open 24 hours a day, and an Xbox 360 station. Passengers can also wander through beautiful gardens or enjoy the rooftop jacuzzi. It even boasts the world's tallest airport slide. Visitors can also enjoy meals at the airport's six dining halls, where they can try everything from Singaporean street food to gourmet restaurants. To a Hello Kitty cafe in an orchid garden. Having eaten, visitors can go shopping at one of the airport's luxury designer stores. Changi Airport is currently constructing a fifth terminal and a shopping and dining facility to be called the Jewel. It will cater to the increased number of passengers passing through the airport. It's easy to see why travelers have voted Changi number one so consistently. 
It's time now for us to discuss the contents of today's lesson, today's news watch here in early September. And the first story is about Chen Shuju. Of course, we all know about her. And the headline for this particular story is "Humanitarian Chen Shuju Retires." At sixty-seven. So, in this title, we've got a couple of words to talk about. Humanitarian. That can be both an adjective and a noun. Here, it's being used as a noun. That just talks about a person who wants to help people out. Okay, they donate money. They run charitable companies. They help out poor people and stuff like that. That's a humanitarian. It can also be an adjective, which means things that have to do with helping people. People out helping people in need. Right. So she retires at sixty-seven. If you retire, you officially stop working. Usually, people retire between, I would say, fifty-five and seventy.、Uh, uh, some people are not retiring anymore because either they don't have any savings to live on, or they just prefer to keep working. My dad's going to work until he dies. He's an attorney. He's a lawyer. And gives him something to do, keeps his mind active, keeps him healthy. So he hasn't retired, but she decided to retire at age sixty-seven. She worked very hard. She was a vegetable seller from Taichung. That's where she's from, and she became very famous for her humanitarian efforts that we heard about. Was it a year ago, two years ago?、Um, mm-hmm. I remember when it was big news. It was kind of exciting that someone from Taiwan was being recognized and praised for their. Humanitarian efforts,、uh, like Tom said, when you see this humanitarian,、um, just is usually connected with charities and people who are willing to help those in need and those less fortunate than we are. So she retired in May, and she was sixty-seven when she did so. Okay, so that's when she retired. Hopefully, she can keep on working, keep herself busy. Because if you're not busy, you start to get sick and stuff like that. But in any case, here the article says. Chen Shuju, a vegetable seller from Taichung who became famous for her humanitarian efforts, retired in May, aged 67. We could say that she retired at the age of 67. It also says here that she's a vegetable seller. I guess you could say a vegetable vendor as well. Yeah. From Taichung, it doesn't say whether she's from Taichung City or Taichung County.、Uh, too bad I didn't go down there. I bet she probably sold some really nice shuja. I don't know how to say that in English, but that is dang tasty fruit, which of course is quite popular down there in Taichung. But she was only 67 when she retired. But I'm sure she's planning to keep herself busy in her retirement. She is internationally known for making donations worth more than 10 million NT dollars to libraries, hospitals, and orphanages. So when you make a donation, you either take money. And give it away to a charity, or maybe you're donating your time. Maybe you're donating a car. You no, know, you can donate things that you own or money. And she donated a lot of money to libraries, hospitals, and orphanages. An orphanage is where kids whose parents have passed away live. They are、mm. orphans, and they live in an orphanage. Okay, so moving on to the next paragraph here, it says Chen's mother died when she was just a child. Okay, that's quite tragic. Here, her mother passed away when she was just a little girl, and a few years later, her younger brother got sick as well, which means the brother was sick just like the mother was before she died. Well, her brother's classmates collected money for his care, which was very nice of them. Yeah, they all gathered money. Hey, you know our classmate is. Sick in the hospital, we need to help them pay for his medical bills. But he too, unfortunately, died as well. But still, they tried, you know. So at the age of thirteen, Chen left school and began working at a vegetable stall to support her family. So she had all this tragedy happening to her. She lost her mother. She lost her brother, and so the family was probably struggling financially. So she probably had no choice. She had to quit school, and she began working at a vegetable stall.、Uh, if you go to a traditional market, you've got different stalls in there. In、uh, my neighborhood, there's a traditional market that has a stall that sells 
beef. There's a stall that sells chicken. There's a stall that sells fruit. There's another one that sells vegetables, etc., etc. Those are stalls in the market. She did sell vegetables at her stall in order to support her family. She worked there for over fifty years. And she also lived a very simple life in order to save money. She had been inspired by her brother's classmates. Remember, they collected money for his care, but sadly he passed away. And so she thought, "Oh, you know, that was a great thing to do. Maybe I can help other people." So she then donated a large portion of her savings to charities. I talked about donations earlier. Just means you give. Something, either money or goods, things that you own for a good cause. Usually, things are donated to charities. Here, it said she donated a large portion of her savings to charities. Portion is a part of something. Maybe your mom made a pie or a cake, and you want the biggest portion possible. So you want the biggest part of a whole. So a portion just means one part of a whole piece of something. So she gave a lot of her money away to charities. Charities are organizations that are really their whole purpose is not to make profit, but to help people who are in need—children, adults, maybe that are sick or just in really difficult circumstances. So that's what she did with her savings. Right, she gave to charity a large part or a large portion. Of her salary, of her savings. I did want to talk a little bit about the word portion here before we take a break. They do say that in America, restaurants give huge portions.、Yeah. So when you order food in the United States, be prepared to eat a lot, or maybe don't order so much so or, you can you share know, it. Get a doggy bag, take some home with you. Stuff like that. That's、indeed. what I do.、Uh, portions are more standard here in Taiwan, but in the U.S., oh. They are so huge. Now, moving on to the next paragraph here, it says her philanthropy did not go unrewarded. Okay, philanthropy just means you're humanitarian, you help out other people, etc. And she was rewarded. Unrewarded means you're not given a reward for something you did, but、uh, it did not go unrewarded. In other words, she was awarded for her efforts. For example. Oh gee, about eight years ago, 2010, Time magazine named her one of the most influential people in the world. If you can get that、uh, copy of Time magazine, there'll be her picture in there and a story about her. And then two years later, in 2012, she won the Ramon Magsese Award for helping the poor. And promptly gave the entire fifty thousand U.S. dollar prize to the McKay Memorial Hospital's Tai Dong branch. We've got the McKay Memorial Hospital here in Taipei, but there are branches all over Taiwan, or at least there's one in Tai Dong. And so she got this award. That's a former Philippine president, by the way. And there's a humanitarian award that's given out. Promptly means right away. She got the award. She probably thought, "Gee, I could buy a nice house to that. I could buy myself a Rolls Royce." But nope, I'm going to donate that money to a hospital. She gave it right away, promptly, to the McKay Memorial Hospital in Taichung. It says here she truly believes that in her words, these are her exact words with the quotation marks around them. Money serves its purpose only when it can help people in need.、Uh, something's purpose is the reason for its being, the reason something's done or created. So, money—the reason we have money—is to help people in need. That's her thoughts. I think those are great. Right now, we're going to listen to our Chinese teacher, and then we'll be back to talk about the Changi Airport. Hi everyone, my name is Jenny. Today, we are going to look at two news items. We will start with the most well-known woman, the Taoiseach Chen Shiu-jin. We mentioned Chen Shiu-jin. We will say that she is a humanitarian. Humanitarian is a person who is a humanitarian. She is a person who is a humanitarian. She is a person who is a humanitarian. She is a person who is a humanitarian. 这个人你知道他是住在台东。我们要介绍一个人，后面常常会接一个同位语，像这篇新闻的开头主词是陈述局，而后面逗点隔开的这一段文字说他是来自台东的菜贩。那因为热心助人而著名，这个都是所谓同位语的部分。但是动词是接在逗点后面的 retire 这样子的句构，大家要熟悉。不过这个句构还有。一点小复杂，就是提到他是五月退休，后面又来一个逗点。
aged sixty seven. 我们知道 aged 这个加了 d， 其实它是一个形容词的用法，说一个人的年龄是几岁，我们会用 aged 再加。年龄的数字，我们继续往下读。当然，大家都知道他善心、乐于助人，捐了很多钱。那提到他个人的故事，下面这一段就在解释他从小到大，包括他弟弟看妈妈的故事。这些事情让他呢，在13岁的时候就辍学了，然后开始在菜摊工作，养家糊口。注意到一个地方，提到他13岁的时候就辍学，这里还是跟 age 这个字。有关提到一个人在几岁的时候做什么事 ，at the age of thirteen， 我们注意到介系词 at， 而且这也是一个常见常用的片语哦。接下来提到陈述局，他在这个菜摊这里，他大概工作超过了五十年，而他的生活非常的简单。注意到了吗 ？Fifty years 后面的逗点，然后接着 living a simple life to save money。这个逗点后面的 living 当然接的是一个分词片语，主词当然还是 she， 也就是陈述局女士。不过我们知道后面的连续第二个动词，你可以把它变成 a n d and loved， 但不要这样写，去掉连接词，改成 v i n g。一样的道理，再往下后面看 ，inspired by her brother's classmates， 这里的 inspired 也是很有趣，因为句构上还是一个。被动的过去分词，这个分词片语一样的主词省略了，也就是 She was inspired by her brother's classmates。但是你不要主词 ，be 动词不需要，只保留过去分词，这就是一个分词构句。那我们继续来看陈述局女士，她做了这么多，但是这些行为她所做的一切没有白费。我们就看到了这个片语 go。Unrewarded. 我们知道 go. 当然，后面常常会加一个补语，而这个补语呢，这边用到的是一个过去分词 unrewarded， 意思就是前面的主词并不是完全没有回馈的，因为他后来得了很多的奖。不过，他即使得了奖。这些奖金他还是捐给了别人。他说到，他把五万美金呢捐给了马街医院台东分院。注意到 ，donate 这个字后面加的是 to， 所以 to 这个介系词大家要注意。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. On the MLB website, they'll show the streak of the team, like how many games have they won in a row, or how many games have they lost in a row. You can have a winning streak or a losing streak. Yeah, you definitely want a winning streak. So the reason for this might be its state-of-the-art leisure and dining facilities. If something's state-of-the-art, notice they put those hyphens in between the words there. It turns into an adjective. Just means it's really cutting edge. It's the new Newest out there, it's the coolest out there. So they've got leisure and dining facilities. Facilities here just include the building itself and how it's arranged. And it sounds like they have a wonderful place there. I always hear that Singapore has really good food.、Um, they're always. Being praised when you watch cooking shows or eating shows, so they've got really great leisure and dining facilities. Here's an example. For instance, 
It features two free cinemas, movie theaters. That's what that is. They're open 24 hours a day, which is so great. They're free too. They're open 24 hours a day, and they have an Xbox 360 station for you people out there that like video games. Okay, and、uh, they probably have lots of terminals there where you can go play with Xboxes. I'm not a big video gamer myself, but hey, that's、uh, one way to pass the time while you're waiting for your next flight. Passengers can also wander through beautiful gardens or enjoy the rooftop jacuzzi. Jacuzzi is the what, like a hot tub? You sit inside there and you have hot water bubbling around you. It can be quite relaxing, especially if you're there changing. Planes.、Uh, maybe you're flying from Taiwan to Australia, and you need to change planes in Singapore or something like that. It even boasts the world's tallest airport slide. Wow! So you can even go swimming there. Don't forget to bring your swimsuit.、Mm. They probably have ones there that you can buy at a reasonable price.、Uh, here we've got the word boasts.、Uh, boast to boast usually means to brag about yourself. Oh, I'm so smart. I'm so rich. I'm such a wonderful guy. But in this particular case, it can say that it has this wonderful thing. It has the world's tallest slide that's in an airport. A slide, of course, is something you. Slide down. Kids play on slides in playgrounds, or there are water slides at water parks. Sounds really fun. So visitors can also enjoy meals at the airport's six dining halls. Sounds like they have a lot of food choices, where they can try everything from Singaporean street food, which is supposed to be amazing, to gourmet restaurants, to a Hello Kitty cafe and an orchid garden. If it's gourmet, it's usually very fancy food. I tend to not like gourmet food as much as just regular fast food. Sometimes the ingredients they use are a little weird to me.、They're, it's also very expensive, so be prepared to pay a lot if you step inside a gourmet restaurant. Now, if you go to a Hello Kitty cafe, it's probably a lot more casual because it's obviously for children. And an orchid is a type of flower that grows very, very well over here in the, in Asia.、Uh, Taiwan has beautiful orchid gardens as well. Love that flower. And Taiwan has an offshore island called Orchid Island. True.、Uh, so now you know what an orchid is, and having eaten, you know, if you go to the cafes or the restaurants, visitors can go shopping at one of the airport's luxury designer stores. Lots of、uh, boutiques there where you can buy, you know, luxury bags and perfume, and、uh, you can pick up some different kinds of、uh, whiskey or something like that. Who knows? They've got everything there that you can possibly imagine. Now, here in the final paragraph, it says Changi Airport. Is currently constructing a fifth terminal and a shopping and dining facility、cool. to be called the Jewel. Now, the Taoyuan Airport, I believe, has two terminals: Terminal One and Terminal Two, and Changi has four. But they're now currently, at the moment, while we speak, constructing the fifth terminal. To construct just means to build something. Usually, something pretty big, like a building or a bridge. Uh, that's a lot. So those terminals are where the planes fly into and passengers get off and on. They've also got a shopping and dining facility there in that fifth terminal, and they're going to call it the Jewel. So it's going to be pretty fancy. It will cater to the increased number of passengers passing through the airport. You know, I travel a lot. I've never had a ticket that took me through Singapore, so I kind of feel bad that I'm missing out on the Changi Airport, guys. If you cater to some Someone. It just means you provide people with something that they're looking for specifically. You can cater, cater a lunch or cater a dinner, which means you provide the food and drink at a social event. But it can also mean that you are providing somebody who has a specific need or request with what they want. Some restaurants only cater to foreigners. They serve they serve foreign food and not Taiwanese food, for example. Or they cater to young people, or something like that, etc. Restaurants that are for young people and not so much for older people, and、uh, some、uh, food stalls and night markets cater、yeah. to people on a tight budget. Things there are not too expensive. So here, of course, it will cater. 
to lots of passengers who pass through. I guess they have connecting flights there in Singapore, and so it's easy to see why travelers have voted Chang'e number one so consistently. If you're consistent, you do the same thing over and over again.、Mm. It doesn't change, so they're consistently being voted number one. That isn't enough an excuse for me to travel to Singapore just to see the <laughs> airport, but、uh, still, if I do go to Singapore, I'm going to pay close attention to the airport to see if it's worth all the hubbub. Okay, that brings us to the end of our explanation for today. Time now to listen to our Chinese teacher. 我们继续来看第二则新闻。这一则呢是谈全球最佳机场得奖人是新加坡的樟宜机场，而且呢它是六连冠。我们看到这六连冠，它是连续六年哦，连续第六年被评为世界最好的机场。用到一个片语。In a row, 我们知道 row 是一排，所以一排连着下来，这个片语倒是蛮好记的。我们后面还有说到第一，他拿了九次，只是呢，并不是九次都连续。所以在后面这里说到 the ninth time in all， 换句话说，整个是九次。再来，我们下一段就提为什么他会得奖，为什么得奖？理由呢？有一个。是跟他的设施有关，就是像他有最先进的休闲跟餐饮设施。提到最先进的，大家可能想到是 advanced， 但是这边有一个偏语 state of the art， 这个 state of the art 应该要背起来，意思就是最高超的。最好的、最先进的，再来就要解释一下。他说，这有最先进的休闲跟餐饮设施，以下就一个一个。讲给大家听，包括电影院免费，包括游戏区，还有包括美丽的花园散步，还有按摩浴缸，想去也可以。这些等等，就告诉你这个地方真的不同。提到餐饮，他也说到，他有六个美食广场，而这个六个美食广场什么都有。我们看到，从这个 six dining halls 后面看齐。都点接着 where 这个 where 是关系副词，讲的当然是讲前面这六个 dining halls， 说在这里什么都有 ，everything from A to B。这个用法就是从什么到什么，通通都在内。再来，下面又继续说，如果你到这儿来吃完美食之后，你还可以 go shopping。这边 having eaten， 注意到这是一个完成式，但是这个完成式呢？用 having 开头，它是一个分词的结构。当然，主词还是跟后面的 visitors 一样，主词就是指访客。访客呢，在吃完、用完餐之后，你可以去逛街。好，我们今天的讲解就到这边结束，我们下次见。That is it for today, everybody. We had a couple of news stories in today's edition of News Watch, and here's hoping that all of your news is fantastic news from all of us here at English Digest. I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. See ya.